Hey what's up guys welcome back again today i have a very special video for you i am going to share with you the breakdown and prediction of israel adesanya the former two time ufc middleweight champion on the upcoming co-main event of ufc 298 between robert whitaker and paulo costa this is a fight that you don't want to miss because it features two of the best middleweights in the world who have both faced adesanya in the past Whitaker is the former champ who lost his belt to Adesanya in 2019 and then failed to regain it in 2022. Costa is the former title challenger who suffered his first career loss to Adesanya in 2020. So, what does Adesanya think of this matchup? Well, he gave his honest and detailed analysis of how this fight could play out. And let me tell you, he had some interesting insights. Adesanya suggests that Whitaker's strengths lie in wrestling and distance management, while Costa excels in power and pressure. Whitaker should use feints and kicks to maintain distance, avoid Costa's strike, and aim for takedowns to score points and exhaust Costa. Conversely, Costa should close the distance, not fear Whitaker's strikes, use his jabs and hooks to hurt Whitaker, and be ready to defend against Whitaker's wrestling. So, who does Adesanya think will win this fight? Well, he gave his prediction and he is leaning towards his fellow oceanic fighter Whitaker. He said that he feels Whitaker will win by unanimous decision. After landing a couple of takedowns and surviving Costa's onslaught, he said that he doesn't think Whitaker will finish Costa, but he will do enough to get the nod from the judges. But of course, this is MMA and anything can happen. Maybe Costa will surprise us all and knock out Whitaker in first round. Maybe Whitaker will show us a new level of his game and submit Costa in the third round. So, what do you think of Adesanya's breakdown and prediction? Do you agree with him or do you have a different opinion? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more combat sports news. Thanks for watching.